how to automate Instagram like automation. Let's go ahead and get into it. I had um, maybe two requests in the past month uh, or even week. I don't remember. Today's the 12th, so 12 days. There you go. Uh, about Instagram like automation, how to do it, how to set it up, etc. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. The tool, the only tool that I use is a tool from bots and apps. It's called like automator. When I do use like automation, it's the only tool that I use from bots and apps. Why? There's a few reasons why. First of all, it does not use API. It does not require proxies. It does not require um, any of the complicated things that you see other tools use. Why? Because it mimics human being activity. Point blank, simple to the point. The only thing you have to worry about when you use an Instagram like bot or Instagram like automation tool is the frequency at which you use it. For the frequency, I'll, first of all, I'll show you how to use it. I'll show you how to set it up. I'll show you how, to, how it runs. But in reference to frequency of an Instagram automation tool, if you sit there like a robot and just click boom, favorite, 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 favorite every second, okay, uh, the tool is clearly not going to work for you. Also, I mean, when I say not going to work for you, that's not true. It's going to work for you, but over time, you're going to get your account uh, frozen or temp temporarily blocked. Now, people who automate need to understand the difference between a block and a ban. A ban is when your account gets removed from Instagram. A block means that it's just temporarily stopping you from doing the like action because you do it too much. I created an ebook on my website. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get access to it. But it tells you exactly how many automations to do per day, per week, excuse me, per day uh, for a whole entire system of how many actions to do. Not just how many likes, but how many actions. So that includes follows, that includes comments, etc. Let's get in. And by the way, you could see all the videos on my YouTube. You can literally just search Instagram automation. You can see the evolution with time there. I've, I've spoken about this for years, so it's very simple. It's very easy to use. And frankly, it's it works. It's a system that just works. Why does Instagram automation work like automation specifically? I'm just going to give you guys a basic rundown because this is not about, you know, the history of it and all this, but I'll just give a basic rundown. When you like other people's photos, you, you are essentially entering a sphere. Algorithms on Instagram have spheres. They're organized by engagement and they're organized by keywords or content. Keywords and content are the same, but they're engaged by content, okay, and uh, engagement, excuse me. Spheres are controlled by engagement and content. When we engage with other people and people engage back with us, Instagram now knows what kind of content we serve and who we serve it to, okay? They know our content and they know who we serve it to. Then they start putting us in discoverable sections. So the explore page, the feed, things like that. We get seen there. That's why I say it's crucially important to create content consistently on Instagram while doing the engagement. If you do that, you create a perfect formula to create more sales in your business, get more engagement, more reach. Of course, the content matters. You can't just post garbage. Of course, that matters. But anyways, how do you do it? So I'll show you how to do it. So bots and apps has a like IG like bot tool. They're currently updating their comment one. Their follow unfollow is great, um, but this is how you use this tool. It costs nine ninety nine a month. I believe you can get a discount if you. Okay, you don't get a discount if you pay yearly. Um, but hey, anyways, nine ninety nine a month. Do you get a discount if you pay quarterly? Three months, ten. Yeah, okay, n no discount. So, anyways, monthly nine ninety nine. Okay, and you install the tool as a Chrome extension. I've shown how to do this before in my other videos. If you don't know how, read their instructions, watch my other videos, whatever. Okay, I'll turn this on. All right, and it, by the way, if you need my personal help, don't don't be scared to email me. I'll I'll answer you back. But um. I'll leave my email in the link in the description as well, in the description box. But basically, you turn on the tool, okay? And you pull up an image from a search page, all right? So this is a search page, okay? If I search here for Lambo, all right? So Lamborghini, let's say Urus, I click on it. This is an example of a search page. The Instagram hashtag pages are locked. Like you can't, it's not like you can access more than a certain amount of photos. So if I go over here and I type in Lambo and I hit search, right, and I go to a hashtag page, I can't actually access a scrolling uh, scrolling amount of images. It stops here. 
So I don't want to interact with that. That doesn't help me. So I want to go to a search page just like this. Okay, so I will keep scrolling. Um, and then what it will do is I'll click on one of the pictures here and I'll start engaging. Okay, now once again, I have a certain amount that I do every single day of every single week for a brand new account to prime the account. As this thing works, uh, I'll talk about what priming is in just a second. So like quantity, let's say I want to do six likes. Okay, just then as an example for this video. Delay, let's say I'm setting it from two to six. I don't recommend this delay. I have it written in my ebook. I'm not going to tell you what it is here because it's paid, but I'll leave it here two to six. There we go. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, do click, and then boom. It's going to start doing it every two seconds. So I'm not moving my mouse, but you can see here already favorited. It moves on to the next photo. We'll do a favorite, etc. So what is priming? Priming means that you're getting the account ready for consistent growth. But in order for you to do that, you have to create a basis of automations prior. The reason why people get flagged and they get temporarily blocked, not banned, blocked, using any kind of automation tool is because you're you're red lighting the algorithm you're pushing it too hard when your account was never used to it in the first place right so that's what priming is and that's the whole purpose behind priming why do i not go out there and do 50 actions all of a sudden is because i don't want to essentially uh flag the algorithm i don't want them to know that i'm automating so what do i do i use the tool mimics human being activity right because there's a delay and things like that, which I'll get to in just a second. But I'm not sitting there manually clicking, click, 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 click. After a week, I will get I will get marked as spam. My uh, Instagram account is going to get shadow banned. I'm not going to get any reach. And frankly, I'm going to grow tired of it over time. And then Instagram will eventually block my account, not ban my account, block my account, which is what I don't want. So what the whole point of this delay is, right, this delay is that it will pick a random number in between the sets that I create, the minimum and the maximum. And once it completes all the actions, it will go ahead and say six liked completed. It's finished. The job is finished. So there you kind of get the point of the whole the whole priming the whole growth but you just saw the automation happen you step away from your computer it gets done now why are there tools that do that excuse me that allow you to uh shut off your computer and do whatever you do and it will work in the behind the scenes that uses api api will get your account banned back in 2016 they will not get your account banned but this is not 2016 anymore this is 2024 OK, um, it's just, you know, it is what it is. It's part of the business. You got to adapt. You got to change. You got to fix yourself. And really, the mass banning happened in 2018, where people's accounts were getting removed and banned because they were using API type tools. Now, if you message a software tool and say, hey, do you use the API? They're not going to tell you their private information on their business. They, they are just going to give you whatever answer they can so they can sell you the tool because with businesses like this, you have apps like an app called Kenji. You have uh, a few other apps out there that do this kind of stuff. They don't actually specialize in growth. What they specialize in is you go in, you pay one time, you pay your first time. There's no free trial. There's no any of that. You pay your first time. The tool doesn't work. You don't ever purchase from them again, and they just take your money and move forward. That's really all the tool does. But this is a tool that works once again, replaces manual activity and gets the job done. I could sit here and hire somebody from the Philippines for $500 a month to sit here and click, 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 click at random times and I could pay them to do it or I could pay $10 for a tool and it will do it for me with my settings. You know, so and I could guarantee that it's getting done as opposed to hiring somebody overseas and not guarantee. And I'm not against virtual assistants. I have them, but for different things. But Instagram automation is not one of them. You could just do it manually. So I'll leave a link in the description to the like tool. If you have questions, you can email me, message me, whatever. Um, you know, I'll help you out. But something that I do also want to state before we even get into this, because people do email me about this, is they say, I got the tool, but it's not working. I get an error. And the error for them is that the that the tool says, oh, you need to reload the page or you need to be on an Instagram page. It's it's not that. That's not the actual error. The error is that the tool cannot read what is going on on your computer because you have multiple windows. So this is a window and this is a window. You cannot have that when you run this tool. You can only have one window open for the browser. So this is Google Chrome, right? 
This is two windows. You see how I have two different windows here? These are tabs and this is a window. I can't have this. It all has to be on one window, all right? So this is one window and it has four tabs on it. And sometimes I recommend to people, if you don't want to be, uh, if you don't want any delays or anything like that in the tool, get two different browsers, right? And for example, they've recommended Vivaldi on other tools and Chrome. Or if you have Safari and Chrome, you could do your work on Safari while the Chrome is doing the automation. That's an example. But you cannot have one Chrome browser with multiple windows. The tool is, is going to have issues. So if I take the, if I do this, right? and I separate them and I try to run the tool, most likely it's not going to work. Now it might work here randomly, but for most people, it there you go, it didn't work. See, it says there was an error, reload the website. It's not that there was an error, the tool cannot find the link because there's two windows. So I grab the, the uh, window here, I put it back all in one window, and then if I run the tool, right, I go to the, you know, any kind of page here, I set it up, I click do like, it ends up working. Why? Because once again, you just got to use the, the functions of the tool. You got to kind of use it. They tell you guys this in the instructions as well. I just happen to get emails over and over and over about it. And that's how you use it. All right. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll leave a link in the description. You can contact me if you need help. I'll see you guys soon. All right. Peace out. Bye.